and some motherfuckers. It's just so much fun to be had in this game, and it it feels better than because the the shooting is so good. You you want to just go on rampages where. Whereas in GTA 3 and GTA Vice City, you wanted to go around running people over. In GTA 5, you want to get out of your car and shoot people in the face, because it really does just play like a, a third-person shooter, you know, a really good one. It's just the slickness and the, the detail. Um, it's like anything that doesn't feel like a, an integral kind of mechanic to the game, you know, like going in the strip joint and getting a lap dance, anything like that, you can, you know, it doesn't have to be there, it doesn't really serve any purpose, so you can forgive it, um, you know, like going on the fairground rides, there's no point to going around in the fucking big wheel. Um, but who cares, because they're just giving you so many options in this game. It's unreal. You know, I like how it's pretty easy to uh, take down helicopters as well. Look at that, the helicopter. There's no one in that helicopter, it's just flying around by itself. And the graphics in this game are awesome. I mean, GTA 4. Um, I could never get my head around just how jerky it was. Um, well, GTA 4, I'm, I'm kind of a bit disappointed because GTA 5 is that good. You know, I was really getting into GTA 4 when I was playing it in the run-up to uh, getting GTA 5. And I think I got to the point where there's about 15 missions left in GTA 4 till I complete that. And I don't know if I can go back to it because it was just so, such an inferior game. Um, I guess it's like comparing GTA 3 to GTA San Andreas. Um, yeah, I mean, you play GTA 3, you can't even jump out of the car while it's moving, there's no motorbikes. Um, you know, San Andreas compared to GTA 3, you know, without that Vice City step in the middle. Is just on a whole different level. You know, it's it. You know, it's look, look, look at the, you know, the fucking scenery, the sky, the lighting. Even the textures are nice. Okay, it might not be. You know, 1080p. Um, it might not be. 60 frames a second. But it looks good, and it runs well, and it's an absolute, absolutely astounding cheap achievement uh, to create this game on such old, aging hardware. Um, I think people forget how long the uh, the current gen systems have actually been around for. I mean, obviously the PS3. Um, can't remember exactly when it was released. Um, but you know, the 360 has been around for absolutely ages, 2005 or something like that thing, so I hate this with the petrol station because you have to get in quite close to the weapon and uh, usually end up blowing yourself up, well, there you go. So yeah, I just thought I'd do a video on uh, GTA 5, give you my thoughts after completing the uh, the story mode. Goddamn camera cutting out because I've been waffling on for too long. But yeah, um, basically my final words are if you've, if you've not played it then uh, it's definitely, you know, the, the hype definitely um, justifies the game and uh, it's not all hype it truly is a, an absolutely epic game and uh, a must-have it's just a great send-off for the, uh, the current gen systems 